if you want to see something depressing, look at how desire changes in a marriage. Now, when you first get together, you can't get enough of each other. It is impossible to imagine that you could ever stop wanting each other. But study after study confirms the truth. Passion declines the longer you're together. A 14-year longitudinal study of marriage found that how much you like your partner declines at a rate of about 3% a year, whereas how much you lust after your partner declines at a rate of 8% a year. But there is an interesting twist. Marriages can cope with a decrease in lust, but they cannot cope with a decrease in liking. When you stop liking the one you're with, your relationship is headed for disaster. So don't stress out if the sparks are starting to fade. As long as you genuinely like, love, and respect one another, your relationship is in good standing. But if you want to keep the passion alive and you want to feel as hot for each other in 10 years as when you first got together, there are ways to do it. Hi, I'm Amy Waterman, a dating and relationship expert with YourBrilliance.com. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three of the most powerful scientifically proven strategies to bring the spark back in your relationship. Tip number one, break the habit. We live so much of our life on autopilot. We eat the same foods, we watch the same channels, we go to the same places, we spend our weekends the exact same way. But habit is where passion goes to die. Now you're probably thinking that this is the part where I tell you that you should spice things up in the bedroom. Absolutely not. What you do in bed is your business. It's what you do outside the bedroom that matters. Doing something new in your everyday life, whether it's trying a new sport or learning something new or even just trying an out-of-the-way restaurant, creates excitement. And excitement is what feeds passion. When you and your guy do exciting things together, it makes your relationship exciting. And that excitement translates into the bedroom. Tip number two is to miss each other. These days, we are connected 24-7. Even if you have to go out of town for some reason, you're still in constant contact as long as you've got your phone with you. But not all that long ago, couples had plenty of time to miss each other. When they went their separate ways in the morning, they didn't see each other until evening. They didn't have email or text or social media to check in with each other. And that sense of space created mystery. You didn't know what your other half did all day long, and he didn't know what you did all day long. You had to wait until evening before you could find out how each other's day went. Now, even though it's hard to miss the one you love, and even though it's frustrating when you don't know what he's doing, both of those things boost passion. A sexuality expert, Esther Perel says, love enjoys knowing everything about you, Desire needs mystery. Tip number three is the six second kiss. So you haven't touched each other all day and now you're finding it hard to get in the mood. Well, no wonder. Passion requires a warm up, which is why one of the most powerful passion boosters of all may be this tip from the Gottman Institute. Twice a day, once when you say goodbye in the morning and again when you greet each other at the end of the day, Share a six second kiss. Now you're probably gonna have to time it at first to get a sense of how long six seconds feels. It is a lot longer than a normal kiss. Dr. Gottman calls it a kiss with potential. A six second kiss requires commitment. You've got to be present with each other. You've gotta put effort into it. It's a beautiful reminder of why you're together and what you have to look forward to. So the next time you hear someone say that you've got to spice things up or wear sexy underwear or act out each other's fantasies, remember this, passion is what gets you into the bedroom in the first place. So fuel that passion with excitement, with missing each other and with passionate kisses. And I'm confident you'll be able to take the rest from there. 
Do you want to know more about how to create attraction and connection with a man? Then I would love to give you my free report on the three A's of effortless attraction. You'll learn about the pleasure principle, one simple idea that could radically change your love life forever. I would love to share it with you and you can find it in the description box below. See you next time.